Yo, 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 what's good? Arsenal? Welcome back to our sneakers where we upload a video every single Monday through Friday. I do want to wish everybody a happy new year. It is finally 2018, and let's just say we got big things coming. I know today's Tuesday. I was supposed to upload yesterday because I do say I'm upload every Monday through Friday, but it was New Year's Day and I was spending it with the fam, so that's why I took the day off. And the same thing goes for last week on Christmas. Before I continue with this video, I do want to say that there's not going to be an on foot shot because as you guys see, the light from outside is not too bright. It's a really bad day. It actually, it's been raining all day this morning and afternoon, so I won't be able to take good on feet shots not even in the house i don't have a light so i'd rather just not put out bad content i'd rather just give you guys a good review but no on feed shot than give you guys a good review with terrible on feed shots because i feel like that would just mess up the rest of the video anyways today as you guys know about the title we do have a review on the yeezy 350 boost this is a size 10 and a half you guys see it by the box label and if you guys know me i'm not 10 and a half i did purchase this size because my boy had a cart gave it to me for free and i was like you know what i'll buy it but i'm not gonna flip the shoe but i'm actually gonna make this pair into two masks because every pair does make two masks so i actually gotta trade my boy for another size because this is not the right size to make the masks. Anyways, without further ado, I'm not gonna get into the box. I'm just gonna get into the code, which is B37571. And it does say EPC inside, which is something new that Adidas has been doing with their sneakers. And I know I spoke about this a little in my last review, how there's like this new thing going on. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not really gonna get into it too much, but I am going to announce the fact that it does include that. It's something like to track the shoe or something. But I don't wanna get too much into it because I don't know all the info on that. And you guys might be wondering why am I reviewing a shoe? Shoe reviews are pretty much overplayed, but the reason I do these shoe reviews is to give people that actually want to buy the shoe in the future a video to refer to to see if they really want to purchase the shoe so that's enough talking let's get on to the sneaker this is a color we have never seen on a yeezy ever before on any yeezy whether it be nike or adidas which makes this shoe that much cleaner and not only that but it's a really clean colorway as well the blue tint on this is really weird because the part that you mostly see when it's blue is the ankle collar right here the rest of the shoe is not really that it's like a lighter shade of blue so the blues don't even match it's kind of confusing like when you look at it it kind of messes with your eyes and i know what people did before is that they got their zebras and they colored it in with the blue sharpie or the yellow ones to resemble the yebras or these ones or yebras however you call them but i feel like that color is way off because the highlighter blue is way darker and this one's like a way lighter it's like i don't want to say icy blue but it's like a mint well obviously it's a blue mint blue tints so i would say it's like a blue minty color and honestly pictures do it no justice because this shoe just looks way nicer in person you do have the light blue stripe the blue tint stripe. what's i don't even know what the colors on this shoe let's not let's find out i'm gonna read to you guys what the colorways are it's blue tint gray something and then something else i don't know it's blue tint that's the first one the second one is g-r-e-t-h-r -E no clue what that is third one is h-i-r-e-r-e -E. i know the second one is gray the third one is h-i-r-e i'm guessing that's gonna be like the orange color all you see on here i would say it's like the beluga stripe that is literally the same thing as the beluga color as far as my eyes go which does throw the shoe off a little bit but it makes it pop because if they put like this gray on the letters and the heel tab it would not pop as much but this makes it a little bit harder to match with because you do have orange with a blue tint a gray and well you don't really see the white that's down here you do have to wear this shoe with light color clothes i don't think you can wear them with dark clothes like black well that's pretty much all i wear so black black and white's really all i've been wearing lately it's just the easiest thing to match with no matter what it is so it's just the easiest thing to match with, so that's really all I've been wearing lately. Moving on to the stripes, you do have the gray stripes, like I said. Whatever colorway they said it is, is what it is. I'm just gonna call it gray. I'm gonna call this blue blue tint, and I'm gonna call this blue orange. So the stripes are made of the lighter blue tint, not the ankle color blue tint. This is definitely lighter, as you guys can see. That is a little bit darker. This is lighter. Heel tab is the lighter blue, like this one, not like the ankle collar. And the inside of the shoe, the color does match the lighter blue tint, not the ankle collar blue tint. As you guys can see, there's two different shades. It does match this blue, as you guys can see. The three reflective stripes that you you guys see right here they do match the same color as the lighter blue tint as well the laces are the lighter blue tint as well and here you have the two hang tags one of these has like a scan code for the epc thing whatever you know i was talking about the beginning of the video this right here is the paper and it comes in the inside going on to the insole you do have your letters that do not look orange this reminds me of the beluga 2.0s because the inside the letters they were not orange they looked like a more of a reddish they were supposed to match the same color as a beluga color but they didn't so i don't know what Adidas did there. The rest of the insole is a blue tint color, the lighter shade, not the darker shade. As you guys can see, that it's two different shades from the ankle collar. And on the back of it is white all the way through. And that pretty much covers the rest of the insole. Going on to the outsole, you do have basically another shade of blue tint. And the reason I think this is because it's a different material. This part is blue, and then this part is a little bit more yellow, like it is on all the other Yeezys that have a whiter outsole. The zebras, you'll find the same thing, and the cream whites as well. And moving on to the bottom, as you guys can see, it does look a little bit yellow, but these are dead stock, brand new, came from Adidas, and they do have that little bit more yellow tint as you guys can see from the midsole to the outsole there is a little bit more yellowing on the outsole than it is on the midsole and then of course you do have your little boost windows at the toe area and then the heel 
you have your nice soft boost, which makes this shoe one of the most comfortable and stylish shoes of all time. And one more color I just noticed that's different is the stitching going down the middle of the shoe. This cross stitching, the X's and like the square patterns are a little bit darker gray than the stripes right here. So you have eight different colors on this shoe. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know what you guys are getting into when you buy this shoe. I personally love this shoe. I put it on. Feels like any other Yeezy V2. These did run a little bit bigger than the Beluga 2.0s. For some reason, the Beluga 2.0 batch ran a little bit small and a lot of people were commenting that on my last video. I think these went back to the regular sizing. Why that happened, I'm not too sure. I don't work for Adidas, nor do I talk to anybody there. If you guys have any idea, leave a comment on that down below so people know why that is. I feel like because it's a larger batch, maybe they didn't have like the best quality control on that sneakers. And talking about quality control, the paper that came inside the shoe is round. Usually they have like a long nose, so it fits perfectly to the toe of the shoe. I guess it just got a little bit lazy on that as well. And honestly, the paper starts right here. Like this rest of the shoe has no paper whatsoever. So I mean, that kind of has to do something with the quality control. Like they're probably rushing it, didn't feel like stuffing it all the way in or getting longer paper. I don't know what it is. I feel like the quality is getting less and less, but that happens of course when you are getting more pairs out there for more customers. And as Kanye promised when he first got with Adidas or before he even got with Adidas, that everybody will be getting Yeezys. And that's what's happening now more and more often. I personally thought that in 2018, Yeezy V2s were done because if you guys saw what happened from the first year, which I think was 2015, the Yeezy V1s came out. And then 2016, there was only one pair. It was the Pirate Black that restocked because they wanted to remaster the heel tab or whatever. Not the heel tab, but the inside cushioning around the ankle. And then they came out with V2s without the heel tabs. And then 2017 was a year with heel tabs. And I thought they were just going to be done with that. But I heard a rumor that they're going to be releasing two colorways with heel tabs this year, which I'm not too happy with because I just wanted to be done with the V2s. There's just so many colorways that I really hope they cancel those releases because I really don't want any more V2s. I mean, it's cool and all, but I want to see a new silhouette. I personally want to see a style change. So I'm hoping that they will be releasing more Yeezy 700s. Hopefully another high top Yeezy 750s. Desert Rats, they should just throw that all the way. That's an ugly shoe in my opinion. I mean, I'll probably wear it in the end because it's a Yeezy if I cop a pair. They should stay with the 700s. Up the quality on those because the last ones I saw were pretty bad. I wasn't happy with them at least. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I did make this video a little longer and keep talking because I want to know your guys' opinion. And hopefully a lot of you stuck through the whole video to watch this. I'm pretty sure some of you probably just clicked off midway. But if you guys watch to the end, let me know what you guys want to see. Would you guys prefer longer content or shorter content? So basically three to five minute videos, something maybe six, seven, or do you guys want to see like 10 minute videos and longer? What do you guys think is a good duration for the length of a video? Anyways, guys, one more thing I want to say before I leave is that there are three easy masks left on the website. Two sold the day that I dropped them, which was New Year's Eve. Now there's three left. You guys want to pick them up before they're gone because that's the last time the price is going to be that low. So if you want to go ahead and purchase them, go to my website, rsneakers.bigcartel.com. Even though it's a new year, I'm still going to be doing fan of the day. And today's fan of the day does go to K Wachow M8. I know lately over this past two, three days, I've been getting more subscribers daily than I have been in the past weeks or so. And that just shows that this channel is going to be expanding faster. So if you guys are new to the channel and want to be fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and be one of the first people to comment on my latest videos. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give a video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's set a goal and try to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And by the way, I will be giving away Easy Mask sometime this month or next month. Don't have that plan exactly yet, but I will have it planned very, very, very soon. So hit that thumbs up. Anyways, that's it for today. Make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, Super Shining now. Chambea, ala, cabrón ya no te quedan balas, chambea.